Gotta serve it fresh, man. While it's still hot. You ready for the real heat? Midjourney's AI video platform went live today. For us, of course, this means testing it immediately. From now on, we will no longer be greeted by images on the Midjourney homepage, but by videos. A new button has been added at the top right to allow us to switch between images and videos. But of course, all our attention today is on video. Let me first give you a little insight into how what works. Simply click on an image that you have created in Midjourney. You will then see a new animate image section at the bottom right below the familiar features. Here, Midjourney initially distinguishes between auto, you give the AI permission to make something out of the video, and manual, you want to define what happens yourself via a prompt. If we take a closer look, we see low motion and high motion. What does this mean? As the name suggests, low motion creates a more subtle action. High motion, on the other hand, tries to bring more excitement to the video with camera movements and interactions. To begin with, simply use auto low motion to get a feel for how sensitively mid-journey works in video creation. And then I recommend the manual low motion option. With manual, you can enter a prompt yourself and control the AI. Mid-journey then evaluates the prompt that we have written and what it sees and uses this to define the output of the movie. I'll just press auto low motion now. We'll see the results at the end of the tutorial. But I can already tell you, Midjourney listens carefully. The prompts, by the way, I don't have to enter anything for auto, are executed very well. Very impressive indeed. Now let me show you a few examples. First things first, we get four videos and at a speed that is truly breathtaking. To be fair, of course, a video costs about eight times as much as an image so the credits will probably be used up quickly for some customers. Pro users also get a relax mode for videos. The video resolution is currently still 480 pixels. That's not really big yet, but if Midjourney integrates an upscaler, you can use these, I'll call them, draft files to upscale to very strong final videos. A brief side note, if you hold down the control button, you can navigate through the video by moving the cursor left and right you will then see the individual scenes. If I click on a video with the right mouse button, similar to the images, a context menu opens. Select hide for the videos that you don't like, and only the remaining movie will be displayed animated. If we now make the comparison between auto low motion and auto high motion, we see exactly what I mentioned earlier. With high motion, there is a lot more going on, the camera rotates. With low motion, only the head moves. But now we want to know, what does the manual version do for us? What does the prompt adherence really look like? In this example, I have specified, the robot should place a yellow bucket on its head. This is the result with low motion. And here is the result with high motion. To be honest, I really like the high motion option better because the robot moves a lot more. It bends down and then places the bucket on its head. The next example takes us back to early history, to the time of the dinosaurs. Here is the result with high motion. In the style of Jurassic Park, the dinosaur steps forward. The person starts to run. The same with low motion looks like this. What would AI be without funny tests? The man throws a stone at the dinosaur and it starts laughing. First the version using low motion and here the version using high motion. In the high motion option, we again see a more dynamic tracking shot. Next, one of my favorite topics, animating illustrations. First the option with low motion, and then the version with high motion. A gag is also needed here. That's why I entered the following prompt via manual low motion. The postman stumbles. Just look at the details, pretty impressive. What would a test be without an alien? The auto low motion gives us this result. With the auto high motion, we see significantly more dynamics again. When you think about how quickly you can make entire animated films, it makes your head spin. Just like this figure shows, I also give it a thumbs up. Midjourney allows the use of external images in the videos. That's awesome. Maybe some of you already know me, sitting in front of this tent. Here is a basic video that I have expanded via Extend. 
Now it's time for the full mid-journey power. I entered. Man gets up and runs away. Via manual low motion. You can see what happens. That's really very funny. Then I extended it further via a prompt. If you use the extend function, simply write what you want to happen next. The movie always starts at the very first frame of the first movie. It gets longer and longer, so to speak. If you wanted a snowball fight with a dragon, here you go. But remember that your plot has to fit into the time frame. Packing a trip around the world into five seconds certainly won't work. Therefore, one step at a time. In this example, I made a 3D rendering of a ship. We are familiar with this kind of animation from various blockbuster games. It's really amazing. Without prompting, you get results like this, literally at the touch of a button. Then another test with this illustrative version of the ship. The same with a child's drawing. Or this result, animated from a rough sketch. Crazy cool. Or simply mega impressive. How Midjourney sets itself the task or follows a predefined prompt. One last example of this test series. A polar explorer in the eternal ice. The camera zooms out slightly and opens up a view of the penguins. Pay attention to the details. Nothing is washed out or too contrasty here. With Topaz Video AI, you can enlarge the entire video. But now back to the initial image. Here I'd pressed auto low motion. We see four examples again. If you want to further refine a video, move the mouse over the video of your choice and click on either extend auto or extend manual. If I click on extend manual, my prompt is added to the top of the prompt bar. Simply modify it there. If I were to click on extend auto, four more videos would appear immediately. So my conclusion now on the first video model from Midjourney: Very cool videos at the touch of a button. Very strong prompt adherence and incredibly detailed film sequences that can apparently be extended to a total of 20 seconds. That's really fun. Keep up the good work. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know.